Here's my storyboard for the story Josie. And I took what I worked on at our face-to-face -face meeting and I reworked the story core so that the story focuses more on Josie herself. I've uh, recorded the narration already in clips, but it's not loud enough uh, to be picked up by the microphone here. Here's the picture of the story core. It still uh, goes through essentially the time of prohibition where it starts with the women's Christian temperance movement and uh, prohibition with crime going up, prohibition ending, and then Josie continuing on with her future. And essentially Josie goes from being the daughter of an immigrant farmer to a singer to a business owner and a strong woman. I collected pictures to go along with the narration. The pictures here show uh, a wet or dry uh, boat as well as women and children essentially saying they want milk, not beer, and then a picture showing uh, the paper when the U.S. was voted dry. The music I chose uh, was the Honor Christian Soldier for the first part and then into a Bach prelude. Josie O'Sullivan is introduced next and it shows a picture of Josie with her sister and a jug of whiskey and the sad life that Josie had on the farm and the ter determination of Josie to one day leave the farm and become a musician. And the music I chose to go with that was Louis Armstrong's and it was a blues. The next picture shows a group of people uh, sitting around a table with alcohol and basically mocking a sign saying no intoxicating liquors. And Josie takes off for Chicago and begins to work at a speakeasy and she was in demand and because she was a piano player I chose a Maple Leaf Rag to go along with this. As Josie's career continues, she meets all kinds of famous people, rich people, gangsters. She even meets Al Capone and doesn't really think about the danger of the life that she's leading at this point. The mu music I chose to go along with this part is a happy 1920s jazz tune. However, as time goes on, the reality of the danger and the crime that's around her begins to sink in and she decides that this really isn't what she was hoping for and I have the happy jazzy music just dwindling at this point point. and Josie begins to rethink her life she remembers her family she remembers her sister she remembers the parents she was trying to move away from and she realizes that she really isn't happy now. It really wasn't the life that she was hoping for. And the music continues to dwindle even more. And Josie decides to leave town and head to Detroit. So she hops in the car and heads off. The music now is upbeat again because she's ready to start over. However, she gets to Detroit and she sees long unemployment lines and she has a hard time finding a job. She ends up with a job eventually, but back in an underground nightclub again as a musician. And her the music along with this dwindles again. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. She meets a man, she falls in love, and our music now is happy and dreamy. And then Josie decides that she really is going to start over this time and she leaves the nightclub life and starts her own business, her own cafe. Uh, even though it's in the depression era, she is able to start a, a cafe and make it become successful. And now we have happy music continuing. And then we have Josie with her family. She's now married. She has a couple of kids and her cafe is a success. 
and then Josie realizes that she does have happiness and we have the happy music continuing and our story ends with Josie being a wife a mother a successful businesswoman and essentially a very strong woman and then it ends with a comment that she's going to use that strength uh, for the rest of her life as she overcomes some pretty difficult obstacles uh, that her future holds and that's the end of my story <music>